In this video, I want to show you how to prepare your PowerPoint slides for importing uh, into a slideshow in OBS. Specifically, I want to address how to prepare your slides so that you can remove the background color, both for just the regular slides with text and also how to remove the background color for line drawings or graphs that you may have inside your PowerPoint slides. And um, you're probably noticing this is a little bit of a different format video. Uh, I'm trying something a little bit different here. Instead of just having my, my face off in a box to the side, I'm sort of actually in PowerPoint with you. And, and, and don't worry, um, you know, the, the light board is, is still here. I can still write. So um, I, I just did that because I really, I'd like to give people some ideas about how you might want to create content for your course. I'm doing this through uh, a color correction in OBS on my video's capture device and as the source and I'm changing the opacity so I've made myself transparent. I'm currently about, um, I'm only 30% opaque and I've positioned myself uh, just so that I'm in a sort of a convenient spot here inside PowerPoint. So, so first off, I'll just say that this is a, uh, a PowerPoint file. This is a, uh, a course uh, lecture PowerPoint file. And I presented this last year. And this year, I want to do it using the Lightboard. So what I do is I open the file. And then I'll, um, I'll come into uh, View. And that's, there's a menu item up here called View. And then I'm going to open something called the Slide Master. And the Slide Master is kind of a thing that lets you sort of globally change settings for all of your slides. And, and I don't know why PowerPoint does this, but it'll always open sort of not the very top master slide. So you have to make sure you slide this slider bar up and get up to the very, very top. And then once you've selected that very top master slide, I right click click Format Background. And for this example, I'm going to go with a, a, a black background. Um, you can also use green, or you could also use any other color. But just remember, this is what we're going to remove using the color key feature in OBS. So I've set the background color to black, but right away you can see there's a problem and that all my text has disappeared. So I'm also going to click on this master slide and I'm going to format the shape and under text options, I'm going to make the color of the text white. And I'm going to do that for each of the other boxes in the master slides. And if you don't know this trick, F4 is a nice shortcut to just redo the thing that you just did. Okay, and I use that all the time. So once I've made those adjustments to the master slide, I can close the master view. And now you can see all of my slides have a black background. Now, you could stop there. And if your slides are very simple and this worked for every slide, then you're done. And what we would do then is come up here to File. And I would do Save As. And you've got a whole bunch of choices under Save As. And the one I find works the best for importing into OBS is the PNG file format. So um, just select this format. And then I'll, I guess I'll just do it to, to show you what it does. And it'll, uh, it'll prompt you for just this slide or all slides. Say All Slides. And uh, when you say All Slides, it will convert all your slides into PNG graphic files. And then it tells you here that they're saved into a directory. So remember where that folder is. Uh, and so you can, when you go back into OBS, you can find them. And how you get them from that folder into OBS is something I covered in the previous, or in the next video, I'll cover that. So, um, so I, I'm not quite done here though in PowerPoint. If your slides have other features, or let's say you've added text that wasn't part of a PowerPoint format that is properly affected by the slide master, you have to find those. So here's, I, I know I have text here, and I know that I added it after the fact, and it's black, so I have to just make sure that I come back in here and also find all of my text 
that needs to be converted in, into the right colors. And that happens on a couple of the slides in this slideshow. But, uh, so that's one thing. But the other thing I wanted to cover in this video was what to do with a graphic that looks like this. And I mean, this is a kind of a, a, a good line drawing, but I would like this line drawing also to have a black background so that when I apply the uh, color key filter in OBS, that the background will also be removed from this slide. And uh, I'm going to suggest how I do this. And if you find a better way, uh, please let me know. But this is what I've sort of come up with. Um, and I also uh, credit a student uh, named Rithik who uh, put me on to this method. And that's what I've been using. So, so what I do is I select the image and then the format picture uh, comes up, the format picture menu comes up. I'm going to select the picture and I'm going to go to picture corrections. Now, like I said, this is just how I've figured out how to do it. And well, with Rithik's help. And the first thing I'm going to do is increase the sharpness to 100%. And then I'm going to increase the contrast to 100%. And this will help for the next step, which is, again, I don't know why PowerPoint does this, but there is an extra format picture uh, menu that comes across the top, but to, to get it, you have to click back up here at the top. And I click Format Picture, and then I click Color. And there's an item here to set a transparent color. So I'm going to click that, and then you're sort of actively selecting the background color or the color that you're removing. And I'm going to click on the white background. Now that's removed the background, but the lines are still black. So the next thing I do is I come back up to color again, and then I come over to recolor, and the sort of the fourth one over is called washout. And if I click on washout, that actually brings back the, the text, but it brings it back in sort of a, uh, not exactly white, but it's, it's, it's a grayish white. And in my experience, this actually uh, works in OBS. And even if you have a lot of details in a graphic, if you follow that procedure of first increasing the sharpness, increasing the contrast, then setting the transparent color as the white background, uh, and then recoloring in washout, I find that that has, um, uh, has worked for me in terms of being able to then uh, move among the background of this slide when I import it to OBS and apply the color key filter with black. And you could also do this with green. Um, it's up to you. Uh, but for me, so far, I've, I've found I've had nice uh, contrast when I use black. So anyway, I hope that that helps. And um, uh, good luck converting all of your content uh, and bringing it into OBS.